Tonight with breaking news, it has been a nerve-wracking day for parents and students. Two different cases impacting schools across the area. And first, we've got that breaking news in Woodland. Schools were forced to go on lockdown today because of police activity. People are also being told to avoid the area of Ashley Avenue and South Beamer Street. ABC 10's Luke Clary is live in Woodland now. And Luke, you just talked with police. Tell us what you learned. Well, first, let me set the scene here for you because it has been a frantic afternoon for the dozens of parents we've seen gather here at Maxwell Elementary and another school here in Woodland that have been on lockdown for hours now. And we have seen some emotional reunions between parents and their children. We've also seen moments of frustration between parents and the Woodland police because they just want to know what's going on. Well, there's a man on a roof of a house just south of the school and Woodland police say that they believe that that man is armed and a danger to the neighborhood and that he's the reason for all of this chaos and worry. Police have set up a perimeter and they're trying to negotiate with that man to come down. They've also brought in family and friends to help convince him to turn himself in. This all started at about 1.30 this afternoon and Woodland police say that an officer tried to pull over the suspect who is wanted for assault with a deadly weapon. His name is Jeffrey Card. He's a 39 year old resident of Woodland and police say that Card just left his car. He ran away and went into a neighborhood and then somehow got up on that roof. Police don't believe that he has any connection to the house that he's on. They've recovered two handguns and they still believe that that man is armed. Now, what we shared with you so far is a lot more information than many parents have had to go on. Many of them, again, have been here for hours waiting for their children to be released from lockdown. Um, I've been texting with the teacher and just want to let her know that kids, parents are all, all out here because they've been under their desks for an hour. Now, police say that their goal has been to get all of the kids out of here by nightfall. They're working with the schools following their security protocol. And so if there is any relief here tonight, it's that this incident did not play out on school grounds, but in a neighborhood that just so happens to be nearby. But there won't be any relief for parents until their children are back in their arms tonight. We'll continue to follow this situation. We do have a new update that kids that are here at the elementary school are going to be bus to the Woodland High School and so parents can reunite with their children there as well but we'll continue to follow this as uh, new details emerge and for the moment we'll send it back to you. Yeah Luke I can only imagine what those parents are going through and like you said they may have to wait hours more to hold their precious children in their arms again as those tense moments in that neighborhood with the man on the roof and the police standoff continue. Keep us posted, Luke Clary. This is a de developing story. We'll also have updates on air and online at abc10.com. Luke Clary, thank you.